Uh, we're underneath the crawl space here and we're uh, making a video just to show you what you can do when your pipes freeze underneath the crawl space and you don't have any heat and you've got cast iron radiators. There's the old pipes right there. And what we're doing is we're running in Wisboro pipe to pick up the radiators from a manifold. It's it's pretty shitty down here, but it's uh, the only way we could do it without tearing up the top part of the house. And wisboro has got a oxygen barrier, and uh, it's not too too hard to string up. And we've picked up all the rads with Wisbro. This crawl space goes back about 30 to 40 feet. And it was done in the old system with the uh, cast iron fittings and the steel pipe. So we've replaced most of it and we're on our last run now for uh, for the Wisboro pipe to the radiators. So the old system was like this. It was a diminishing return. So we, we've got the system divided into two sections now. The frozen half we've replaced with manifolds. Like this. And we can balance the system. This is this is the feed. And then the return is over here. And that's supplying all the back half of the house where all the rads froze. And the piping split. And then again, this is the original with the cast iron tees and fittings. Here, just, just take a picture. You just hold it there. Record it? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, no. Okay. So we're just going to make our last connection here with the Wisboro tool. And that's it. I'll turn it on in a minute. Now we're just going to open up the, the valve. You okay? And that supplies all these have replaced. piping underneath the crawl space. So we're picking up six rads with half inch and three quarter Wisbro. This is a frozen and cracked rad and we've replaced it with a Stell rad because it's a lot cheaper than a new cast iron rad. They wanted close to $500 to fix the cast iron rad that's got a split section just over at this end here. Beautiful rad, but expensive. So this is the top part of the house that's over top of that crawl space. And these are the rads here. There's the still rad we've replaced with the frozen rad. We've hooked up that rad in the hall. And there's a big rad at the back of this Chesterfield, and then there's two more rads in a bedroom and a bathroom. This one where we've brought the Wisboro pipe up through the floor, which is in the crawl space, and tied it into the uh, new rad valves, and uh, eliminated the steel pipe. So we finished the system, and um, 
this is this is the temperature reading on the old one it's 111 112 this is the old system with the cast iron rads <clears throat> This is a new one, the new system. Same, 111, 112. The hottest one is the uh, Stellrad, but it's still not too and too bad. So we're all finished. Everything's working fine. Um, this job cost about uh, $3,000 in material and it took 32 hours labor with uh, two men, two journeyman plumbers. And um, you have to consider that when you're, when you're going to do a repair. It's a far cheaper repair than trying to redo the system with either steel pipe and cast iron fittings like the originals did or if you were trying to um, replace that with copper pipe, Wisboro goes together in one third of the time of copper. We only used a bit of copper wherever we had to for the, the manifolds. Now the manifolds we could have bought from Wisboro pre-manufactured, but I find them more expensive and with things on them that we don't really need. And um, it was cheaper for us to make them up and plus the size, we want an inch and a half to give us lots of water for the feeds and returns on the headers. So all in all, um, you have to weigh a lot of factors uh, if you're going to repair some frozen pipes on a heating system uh, for the old hot water. Thanks a lot.